Hey everyone, it's Carissa Wiley here for Pink Fresh Studio. Thanks for joining me today. Today I am sharing a couple of cards that feature the brand new Sunflower Washi collection from Pink Fresh Studio. Now this collection was originally going to be a part of the March 2022 release, but Pink Fresh Studio decided to release it a little early and 100% of the net proceeds from the sale of these products during the month of March 2022 will go to save the children as they help the children of Ukraine at this time. So I wanted to give you a look at the collection. It includes the washi tape, coordinating stamp set, layering stencils, and coordinating die. And this stamp, the flowers are one piece, but I have gone ahead and trimmed off the sentiments from the stamp set so that I can store it in this large stamp pocket. So I'm gonna roll out one section of this pattern from the washi and I'm gonna trim it off and I'm going to place it on a piece of Essentials by Ellen Heavyweight Vellum. I love to put these washi tapes on vellum and die cut them because they maintain that sheer look that they have as a washi tape. Now, if you want a bolder look and for the colors to pop even more, you can put this on white cardstock and those colors, like I said, they will pop. But I absolutely love the look of the washi on the vellum. So I'm just placing it down onto the vellum and kind of pushing out any air bubbles that I might have. And then I'm taking the coordinating die and I'm layering that up. This die is a one piece die and it coordinates with the one piece stamp set as well, which makes it really easy to die cut all of these images at once. And I'm holding it in place with a little bit of scrapbook.com mint tape. And I'm gonna run this through my Gemini Junior. Now you're gonna notice that the die is actually longer than my plates, but that is an easy fix. I'm gonna run this through my die cut machine. And before I take it off of the vellum and the washi tape, I'm gonna just slide it up so the remaining portion is between the plates and run it through again. And now I have all of my images die cut. So I went ahead and did this twice so that I have two of everything and I'm actually using mainly that large kind of partial wreath portion, but I decided to trim off this kind of extending leaf so that it's a little bit smaller. Now I'm gonna use that and tuck it into the wreath in a different way, but it makes that main flower cluster a little bit smaller. So here's a look at all of the pieces that I have once I've done this twice. And once again, I have done this on vellum, not on white cardstock. So if you want those colors to pop a little more, maybe try the white cardstock. Now I'm gonna be sharing a technique today that I kind of experimented with a little bit. I saw it on Simon Hurley's channel and I thought I'm gonna give that a try. It is something I've never tried before and that is foiling stamped sentiments. So a lot of the information that I gathered was from his video. And so I'm gonna be sharing my own findings here, but if you wanna check out that video, go ahead and head to Simon Hurley's channel. Before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and just ink blend a little bit of the Ocean Breeze ink onto this Hero Arts Arctic cardstock. I'm just darkening up the area where the window on that white cardstock that I die cut is going to be so that there's a little bit of shading and shadowing behind the circle that I die cut. And that was the inverted scallop circle window die that I used. So once I have that done, I'm gonna take the white piece of cardstock that I die cut earlier and I'm gonna position it in my Misty stamping tool. Now you can see I have my sunflower washi design there because I wanna make sure that I position my sentiment where it's going to kind of nestle in to that flower cluster. And I've picked up the stamp with the lid of the Misty and I'm going to prep the surface of this cardstock really well with my powder tool. I'm using the Rabbit Hole Designs Cottontail Powder Tool, but whatever powder tool that you have, go ahead and just prep your cardstock really well. I'm inking up this stamp with some Versamark embossing ink or watermark embossing ink, and I'm gonna stamp it onto the surface of this white cardstock. Now, I use the Hammer Mill Smooth White cardstock for this. The Nina Solar White would probably work just as well. And for this technique, I am using the Wow Clear Gloss Super Fine Embossing Powder. Now I am gonna sprinkle this on and tap off the excess and then heat set this. And you're not gonna see this very well. I did wanna mention that I did try some other embossing powders and I found that this super fine grind and the clear embossing powder worked best. 
I experimented with a sticky embossing powder and that gave me so much spread. It was not pretty at all. <laughs> so I stuck with the clear gloss here. Now for this technique, I'm gonna be using my mink, my six inch mink and deco foil. Now I did try this with the glimmer foil, the ones that we use with our hot foil plates. It did not work. <laughs> You want to use the iCraft deco foil and today I'm using the iCraft deco foil in gold and I'm just trimming off a little portion of this foil and I'm placing it over that clear heat embossed area and then I'm going to take this cardstock I'm going to place it into my mink carrier sheet and I'm going to run it through my mink machine. Now I have my mink machine set to the second level or the number two heat and that seemed to work really well i did try kind of going up and down with the heat but no, the second setting seemed to work the best you can see i ran that through and i pull off my foil and i have a foiled sentiment now i'm gonna tell you this does not give like picture perfect results there were some areas that kind of blew out a little bit with the embossing powder and there were a couple areas where the foil skipped. But I like to use a foiled sentiment when I am using a washi that has the foil detail like the sunflower washi. I am not a huge fan of mixing like a gold embossing powder with that foil detail. That is just kind of my own preference. If you want a more clean foiled image, I would recommend using an embossing plate, but I did think that this worked pretty well. But for those of you who are like absolute perfectionists, this may not be something that you love, but I'm pretty much a perfectionist and I thought it was, it was a pretty good result. <laughs> so I thought it was good enough to at least share it with you here today as an option. So I've gone ahead and taken that card front and I've added the geo tile die cut behind it in that window. I've added my sunflower washi on with some foam adhesive. And then I've added this entire card front to my card base there. It's a top folding A2 size card base. And I finished this card off with some of the Pink Fresh Studio metallic gold pearls. I think that this is actually a really good option for those of you who want to foil your stamped images. But as I mentioned before, keep in mind that some of the finer lines may not pick up the foil as well. So now I'm gonna do a second card and I am doing the same thing, but this time I am stamping and heat embossing my sentiment onto a piece of heavyweight vellum. This is The Essentials by Ellen Vellum. I'm using the same clear gloss, super fine detail embossing powder from WOW and I'm heat setting that. Then I'm gonna take the same iCraft deco foil that I used earlier, and I have a little piece of that, and I'm just placing it over my heat embossed image. And then I'm taking that piece of vellum and placing it into my mink carrier sheet. Now I'm gonna run this through my mink machine again on the, the number two setting, the second setting. <laughs> I'm fumbling over those words for whatever reason today. And when I take this out, you're going to see that I have a foiled sentiment. Now, where I think this really shines is in that larger, wonderful word that's on the bottom of the sentiment. Some of the smaller letters on that top line had a couple of areas where they got blown out. And I was able to take like a piercing tool and kind of scrape away some of the extra foil. But look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Now I do realize that there are toner pens and toner ink pads available on the market, but I'm using supplies today that a lot of us already have in our craft room. And when the first wave of foiling kind of hit the crafty market, it was all in these deco foils and the mink machine. And so I just kind of wanted to use supplies that some of you may already have to try to achieve this look. Now for this second card, I'm using the same colors, but this time I'm using the Simply Hexagon background die here. I've die cut it from some white cardstock. I did ink blend a little bit of that Ocean Breeze ink onto this Arctic card base here. And I'm positioning some of the pieces of this sunflower washi kind of along that corner. And I'm going to use that heat embossed and foiled sentiment that I created on that vellum and kind of tuck it into this flower cluster. 
Now there was a little gap between the corner of the vellum and my flower cluster. So I just took an extra little thing of leaves and tucked it in there to cover that corner. Now I have some Darice foam strips here and I'm placing those around the edge of this Simply Hexagon die cut. And I'm gonna use that to adhere this background onto the Arctic card base that I've created. And I'm trimming off little portions and kind of putting it behind the flower cluster to kind of give it a little additional support. And you can see I've tucked my sentiment in there. Now I took this entire thing and I adhered it onto a horizontal A2 size card base. So this was cut to five and a half by eight and a half and scored at four and a quarter. This is old school card making right here. <laughs> And I absolutely love it. You know, I hardly make horizontal cards, but every once in a while I get the itch or something just seems to work better in a horizontal fashion. And this was definitely that card today. So here's a look at the two cards that I created using some foiling on stamped images. I hope it's something that you'll kind of give a try and see if it's something that you like. And I hope you'll check out these beautiful sunflower washi products from Pink Fresh Studio and purchase them, grab them while you can, and all of the proceeds benefit Save the Children. As always, thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching. If you're looking for something in particular, I will have the featured products used in these projects in the description at YouTube, so be sure you check there. I really hope you enjoyed today's projects. I hope you were inspired to try this technique on your own. If you liked this video and you were inspired, go ahead and click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications here on this YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the fabulous paper crafting and card making video tutorials shared here. Go ahead and drop a comment below and let me know which of these two cards is your favorite that I created today. And as I mentioned earlier, I'm so glad you stopped by and hung out with me today. Thank you again for watching and until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.